Good morning and God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. You are welcome once again to Morning Charge with Mountain Top Life Devotional. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Today, before we continue, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord, for your love and your care upon our lives, upon our families, upon our church, upon our nation. Father, take out the glory forever and ever in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us into this new day. This is the day that you have made, O oh Lord, in this new day. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Father, take out the glory forever in the name of Jesus. Father, as we go into the morning charge for this new day, we pray that you come and be with us in Jesus' name. Come and charge our spirits, our souls, our bodies with your word and with your fire and with the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, divine, take us full control that at the end we shall have all causes to glorify and magnify your name forever. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Today is the 22nd day of June in the year 2023. And if you have your Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, I will want you to open it to this particular date. And our topic in today's morning church is how to receive miracle healing. How to receive miracle healing. A memory verse is taken from the book of James chapter 5 verse 14 and it says is any sick among you is any sick among you let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray for him anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord so we see the Lord speaking to us there through the Holy Spirit to Apostle James. He said, Is any sick among us, among the children of God, among believers in Christ? He said, Let such person call for the elders of the church and let the elders pray for that person. And also, let the elders anoint that person with oil. That's with the anointing oil. He said, in the name of the Lord, he said, and that person shall be healed. So you see that it is the will of God that the children of God will enjoy perfect health. That the children of God will enjoy divine healing. That the children of God will enjoy miracle healing. Our motivational quote for today says, strong faith brings instant miracles. Without faith, miracles cannot happen. So we see that faith, strong faith is needed in the heart and mind of the receiver of that miracle healing before it will manifest in the person's life. Our prophetic word for today says, the Lord shall heal you and save you from all sicknesses and diseases in the name of Jesus. Amen. <clears throat> Our fire scripture is taken from the book of Psalms chapter 103 Psalm 103 and we shall read verses 2 to 5. I want you to open your Bible and let us read the scripture. Psalm 103 verses 2 to five. He says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thy iniquities? Who healeth all thy diseases? Who redeemeth thy life from destruction? Who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies? Who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Amen. 
So we see that place that the whole verses are talking about miracle healing, manifestation of the strength and power of God in the spirit, in the soul, in the body of the believer, of the child of God. It is our right as children of God. It's our privilege, our divine privilege as children of God to receive divine healing, miracle healing from the hands of our God. <clears throat> we continue by, by making some points that number one, miracle healing for the child of God is called the children's bread. You see that in the book of Mark's Gospel, chapter 7, verse 27. We see where a woman was asking for healing for her child. But our Lord Jesus Christ said that it is not good to take the food of the children and hand it over to the dogs. So everybody who is a child of God is entitled to divine intervention and the manifestation of healing in the person's life, not just physically, but also spiritually, in every area of the person's life. Even healing in the person's finances and other issues of life. We see also that healing is the perfect will of God for his children. It makes the children of God to be healthy and blossom and people will see the glory of God in their lives. We realize that faith is needed for miracle healing to take place in the life of a child of God. We need to remember again that faith is the opposite of fear. When somebody is manifesting fear, the person cannot effectively manifest faith. And the Bible encourages us that we should not fear, but that we should have faith in God. And to have faith in God means that we have strong heart and strong mind that what God has promised us is also able to bring to pass. The Bible tells us also in the book of Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, it says that faith is the substance of the things that we are hoping for, the evidence that we have to attend that for the things that we have not seen. So when you are believing God for something and that thing has not yet manifested, but you have that the Holy Spirit steers in you that strong belief that what God has promised you will come to pass. That strong belief in your heart is called faith. And the Bible says that this particular faith, the strong belief, is the evidence that you have to tender concerning the things you are believing in God for, which you have not yet seen. When this strong belief in your heart is maintained, you will see that ultimately, the Lord will bring to pass that thing which you are believing God for then it is said that you have a precise faith to receive that thing that you requested from the Lord. We shall go for a short break and then we'll come back shortly. It's three bottles for three dimensions. One you will drink, one for where you live, and one for the battles of life. Water! Fire! These elements of God will come together and do wonders in our lives. It's the Mountain of Fire, Human Miracles Ministries, Annual Water of Fire, taking place at the July edition of Power Must Change Hands. Dr. D.K. Olukoya, the General Overseer, Mountain of Fire, Human Miracles Ministries, will be ministering live from the International Headquarters, Lagos, Nigeria. And this event will be streamed live on all our social media platforms, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Mixer. The July edition of PMCH, Water of Fire. 
31st of July, 2023, 0700-WAT. This is a day to bring all that concerns you before the Lord and to cut off every evil hand troubling your life. Come fast for three bottles of water. Jesus is Lord. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. Welcome back to Morning Church with Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional. As uh, we are discussing, we are still talking about how to receive miracle healing. We want to go on and see that miracle healing comes by hearing the word of God that comes to us through prayers. When we are listening and we need healing and prayers are being made, made on our behalf by others or even ourselves, praying for ourselves, you find that through this prayer we hear the word of God and as we believe this word of God, the power that is inside the Word of God gets transmitted into our body and the anointing of God released into our body fights against the sickness and disease, uproots it and will receive divine healing from God. Miracle healing can come to a child of God or to anybody instantaneously through prayer. There are so many examples in the Bible. There was this leper that came to Jesus and said, Lord, if thou will, thou canst make me clean, thou canst make me whole. And our Lord Jesus Christ answered the man immediately, says, I will be thou healed. And the man was healed instantaneously. A lot of healing happened like that. There are many instances of people having things like headache and other situations and they pray to the Lord, Lord, I need your healing. Intervene in my situation. And just like that, it disappears. That's called instantaneous healing. In our church, in Mountain of Fire Miracles Ministries, many people come out to testify during our special programs like the manna water services, like the Sunday services when prayers are made by our Father in the Lord, the General Overseer of Mountain of Fire Miracles Ministries, instantaneously they are healed. Those who cannot bend before they bend, those who cannot squat, they squat and rise, those who cannot jump, they jump. Pains disappear from the body, lumps disappear, cancer disappear. They are called instantaneous miracle healing. That will happen in your life this day and the lives of your loved ones in the name of Jesus Christ. Miracle healing can also come gradually. There are situations whereby prayers are made for the child of God or for the person that needs healing. Then the person begins to experience healing, but it is not yet completed. You find that after a while, more prayers are made for the person until the person is healed completely. This is also miracle healing, but it happens gradually. It happens every day in the life of children of God. So when prayers are made for you and you begin to experience some improvement, you should not be discouraged. You should know that God has various ways that he works in the lives of people. And one of them is is gradual miracle healing. The time that Jesus prayed for a man that was blind, the Bible said, and Jesus said, what do you see? He said, I see men walking like trees. The Bible said, and Jesus still went ahead and touched his eyes. He said, and the man now said, he can see men. You can see that that healing moved from one stage to the other. That is another way that God heals people. <coughs> You also find that miracle healing also manifests in the life of children of God via the laying on on hands. Jesus Christ said so in the book of Mark, 
chapter 16, verse 8. 18, he said, And you shall lay your hands on the sick, and they shall recover. And this is one of the frequent ways that miracle healing take place in the life of the children of God, in the lives of those that need healing. You, when you lay your hands on the sick and you pray for them, when you lay your hand on the sick, you find that the anointing of God, that is the power of God, moves from your hand, from your hand, via that touch into the life of the person. It is an act of faith, according to the word of God. That is believing that what God says, he will do. And when the Lord says, you shall lay your hands on the sick and they shall recover. As a child of God, when you lay your hands on the sick and you pray for such persons, you know that the power of God has moved from your own life into the life of that person. And then the person begins to recover. What happens again in miracle healing is that it can come through the exercising of faith by the person who needs that healing. An example is the woman that had the issue of blood. You will see that in the book of Luke chapter 8 verses 43 to 48. The woman said in her heart, if I can only touch the hem of the garment of our Lord Jesus Christ, I know that I shall be healed. The Bible recorded that the woman, the woman managed and pressed her way through the crowd and touched the hem of the garment of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says that her blood that was flowing, it said, is seized and she was healed instantaneously. The Bible says, and our Lord Jesus Christ knew and recognized that power anointing had gone out of his life to do something and said, who touched me? Finally, the woman said, she was the one. And our Lord said, thy faith has made thee whole. So a child of God can also exercise faith like this woman that had the issue of blood and say, if I can touch the coat of this man of God, I shall be healed. Some when the man of God has sat down and he stands up, somebody goes and sits there as an act of faith that where man of God sat, I sit there, I shall be healed. Somehow receive the healing doing that. So exercising of faith on the part of the person that needs healing also brings miracle healing into the life of such person. When you have opportunity, either to touch man of God, either to have man of God bless water for you, and you drink it as it's done. In our church, Mountain of Our Miracles Ministries, we find that many are healed, including myself. Also, by the use of anointing oil, you find that your miracle healing comes into your life. These are faith items, faith articles, water, handkerchief, anointing oil, and things like that as approved by the, by the Bible. Immediately it is the that God in his mercy moves in his power to minister healing to his own people. The Bible records that from the body of uh, Peter, Paul, that handkerchiefs, napkins we are taking to the sick, far away places, and when placed on their body, he said they receive their healing. This still happens today. Miracle healing comes also through the word of faith spoken by the anointed servants of God against sicknesses and diseases. Example in the Bible is when that centurion came and told our Lord Jesus Christ that his servant was ill. And our Lord Jesus Christ said that he will go to the house of the centurion and heal the sick servant. But the centurion told our Lord Jesus Christ that he himself, the centurion, is a man under authority. And that he knew that when Jesus, if Jesus will speak the word, that he knows that his servant shall be healed. 
our Lord expressed positive appreciation of the man's faith. And, the man, and our Lord prayed for the, boy, for the man's servant and said, Thy servant is healed from this moment. And truly, at home where that servant was, he got well immediately. So you can see the exercise of faith of the centurion and our Lord Jesus Christ honored the man's faith and his servant was healed by the spoken word. This still happens today. If only you can believe all things are possible for them that believe. We shall go for a short break and then we'll come again. God bless. It's three bottles for three dimensions. One you will drink. One for where you live. And one for the battles of life. Water! Fire! These elements of God will come together and do wonders in our lives. It's the Mountain of Fire, Human Miracles Ministries, Annual Water of Fire, taking place at the July edition of Power Must Change Hands. Dr. D.K. Olukoya, the General Overseer, Mountain of Fire, Human Miracles Ministries, will be ministering live from the International Headquarters, Lagos, Nigeria. And this event will be streamed live on all our social media platforms, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Mixer. The July edition of PMCH Water of Fire. 1st of July, 2023, 0700-AD. This is a day to bring all that concerns you before the Lord and cut off every evil hand troubling your life. Come fast into three bottles of water. Jesus is Lord. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. I welcome back to Morning Church, to Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional. We are still talking on how to receive miracle healing. And we proceed by saying again that miracle healing can also come through anointing with oil and with prayers. That's why the book of James chapter 5 verses 14 and 15 say, Is any among you here? He said, Let him call for the elders and let them pray uh, for him and anoint him with oil. The Bible continues to say that the prayer of faith will heal the sick and if he has committed any sin, he say they shall be forgiven him. So that's why you see that in the body of Christ all over the world, and particularly in the Pentecostal circles, anointing oil is blessed and used for prayers and also used for deliverance. And the Lord has been honoring the use. Miracle healing, we must uh, realize, is supernatural in nature. The meaning of that is that God Almighty, through the power of the Holy Spirit, superimposes or intervenes into the natural to solve problems that otherwise could not be solved naturally. That's why it's called miracle healing. So it is supernatural intervention from the spirit world into the physical world to bring healing and health to human beings that are being oppressed by the devil. For this to happen, for this to be maintained, we have to do the following. Number one, the person who needs healing must believe that the word of God is true. Number two, that person who needs that healing must pray in faith. He must exercise faith. If another person is praying for the person, the person must believe. That's why our Lord Jesus Christ said, If only thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. So he that is asking for divine healing has to believe that God can do it. 
Number three, that person must exercise the faith that he has received the answer, even if he is still feeling some symptoms. When prayer has been made for somebody for the person to receive divine healing, the person must exercise faith, showing that he believes that the answer has come. That's why we answer, Amen. Amen. I believe I receive it. Number four, that person must confess that he has been healed. Yes, the Bible says that with the heart man believes unto righteousness, but with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So when you have received prayer for your miracle healing and you answer your amen, believe in your heart that you have been healed and confess it with your mouth and the result will manifest. God bless his word in our lives in Jesus' name. I want you to pray this prayer point before we round up this morning. Say like this, Jesus Christ, the great physician, heal me today in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, the great physician, heal me today in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, the great physician, heal me today in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to pray again like this. The death of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary is sufficient for my healing. In the name of Jesus. The death of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary is sufficient for my healing. In the name of Jesus Christ. The death of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary is sufficient for my healing. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Our Heavenly Father will thank you for blessing us today through your word. And we pray that you heal us miraculously in every area of our lives in Jesus' name. All your children and all the people that are listening all over the world to this message, Father, let them be healed miraculously in Jesus' name. And I also pray that this new day shall be a day of blessing, a day of joy, and a day of progress to each and every one of us. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, boys and girls. God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. No evil shall befall you this day, neither shall any plague move near your camp. So wicked powers ganging up against me scatter in seven ways in the name of Jesus. The hand of God shall be mighty upon you. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Have a wonderful day, beloved.